I spoke with Song Jung, the Washington bureau chief of the Shanghai One Hui Daily, and I asked him about some of the challenges when it comes to providing health care in China's rural areas. I think there are a lot of uh, challenges uh, for uh, quite a long time before the uh, economic reform. Uh, our uh, rural areas were having uh, free Medicare, but the, uh, this system was no more up to uh, the, the economic reform. But rural areas, uh, Medicare for free, in, in before the economic reform was quite low, and uh, China is trying to uh, revive this uh, system. I think uh, uh, most of the rural areas, the patients are having Medicare at this moment. but. Uh, I think uh, the lever, or the, the quality of the Medicare is still poor compared to the uh, Western countries. And I think Chinese government has to invest more and, uh, and uh, also we need more hospitals, uh, different facilities for uh, poor people in a rural area. And is it also finding enough people, enough doctors and enough nurses to provide that care? Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, uh, I think partly it is uh, because uh, China's current Medicare system is not having enough uh, uh, this benefit or uh, kind of uh, payment or income for the doctors and, uh, and uh, these uh, nurses. So that is discouraging to some extent uh, the students uh, to uh, study this medicine and others. So I think we need more investment from uh, the government, from the uh, different uh, companies, and to have a better, uh, I think, payment or welfare for the doctors to encourage more students in the future to be uh, studying medicine. Looking to the future, uh, we know that there is also a big push for new technology in China, especially when it comes to AI or artificial intelligence, and that goes hand in hand with healthcare as well. So, um, how important is technology, and what kind of role will it play in China's healthcare system? I think if uh, AI and other uh, technologies will be uh, more developed. I think that will be uh, very good news for uh, Chinese uh, patients, especially those uh, patients in rural area. As you know, uh, many uh, patients and people living in rural area, they have no very good access to uh, the uh, medical uh, facilities. They are far away from the nearest uh, uh, clinics or hospitals. And if in, in the future, this AI and other technologies will be uh, advanced enough the patients can uh, go to uh, very nearby, uh, I think, facilities to be interviewed, to be looked after by uh, doctors even far away, like in Shanghai or Beijing. That will help a lot, I think. How have you noticed uh, lifestyle mm -hmm. changing the way uh, China's healthcare system works? We know that there's a large aging population, mm -hmm. and we're seeing more and more uh, that the government is doing with mm. the smoking ban, mm -hmm. encouraging exercise, and, and people as a whole are mm -hmm. eating healthier. Mm -hmm. What kind of impact has that had? Uh, uh, I think uh, that definitely is having a lot of impact. One of the f uh, impact is uh, people uh, live much longer now, and uh, uh, so they will need more uh, medical resources to help them. Another thing is many uh, Chinese people are not living in the same place where they used to live. And like Beijing or Shanghai, uh, citizens may move to Hainan in winter and uh, to, to, to uh, Yunnan for uh, beautiful things over there. And and that will require uh, the government to be able to provide them uh, similar or same uh, Medicare in different uh, cities, in different uh, places. That's a challenge for our government.